Good evening and welcome everyone from my set also, uh, like myself, Shivam Dikshit, and uh, uh, we both would like to welcome you, me and my resource person uh, from Council India, she's a psychologist, Yuvika Dutta. So we both will be uh, taking forward today with the session and uh, some part will be covered by me and some part will be covered by Yuvika ma'am. So we both welcome you all once again on this, uh, this workshop. And to make it more interactive, I know there are certain protocols uh, that need to be followed regarding uh, coming live or directly talking with us. But I request all the participants to please write in the chat box. And my first question is, are you guys comfortable in English, Hindi or both languages or only Hindi, only English? Write in the chat box. Aap log kis language mein comfortable? Hindi mein, English mein ya both languages mein? If you will say some, yeah, good. Now I can see my chat box buzzing. Ankur, both, Harshida, both, English, 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 perfect, both languages. So both, I think the majority is more towards both the languages. So we'll try our best uh, to keep both the languages um, in this session so that you guys can understand properly, right? So are we good to go, guys? Shall we start? Yes or no in the chat box? And today, uh, uh, today, this session, Somebody is writing, I saw your video on YouTube, Rajesh. Thank you. Thank you, Rajesh. Thank you so much. So uh, today's session, we'll be talking about well-being and professional growth. And uh, the content we'll be covering is about profiling. We'll be talking about uh, skill set. We'll be talking about upskill. We'll be talking about mindfulness. Uh, Ma'am, we'll be talking about work-life balance. So kafi kuch hai aaj ke session mein aap logon ke liye. Baut sari case studies, kisse, kahaniya. So majorly, ye session aap ke liye एक एक ब्रश अप सेशन कह सकते हैं और एक आई ओपनिंग सेशन कह सकते हैं कि आज के टाइम पे मेंटल हेल्थ की रिक्वायरमेंट जो है वो कितनी जरूरी है एंड इन द सेम डायरेक्शन काउंसिल इंडिया इज वर्किंग सिंस 2016 एज वी हैव लॉट ऑफ मल्टीपल कोर्सेज इन काउंसलिंग एंड साइकोलॉजी विद अस एंड वी आर अपस्केलिंग पीपल इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ साइकोलॉजी एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीस 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 कोर्सेज राइट सो टुडे प्लीज Stick to the chat box because that's the only reason where we can communicate and we can talk. So I'll keep pushing you towards chat box, writing in the chat box so that we can connect, right? So life is full of stress. What do you think about this? Yes, no, anything in the chat box? Is it full of stress? Yes or no? Amita, yes. Surendran, yes. Yes. Up to us. That's a good answer. That is up to us. Uh, great. Yes, 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 yes. Majority of people think that life is full of stress. But if I ask you that why, like what is the reason is it full of stress? So I personally feel that it's only full of stress if we are mismanaged. For example, when we were little in school, we would say that if we want to do a project or assignment, if we don't submit time, then stress. If we didn't study the exam, we didn't study the end time, then stress. If the boss didn't give any work, we didn't study the end time, we didn't study the end time, we didn't study the end time, stress. So I feel when we are mismanaged, स्कूल हमें सिखाता है कॉलेज हमें सिखाता है बाद में हम एक प्रोफेशनल बन जाते हैं जॉब्स करने लगते हैं तो भी हमें टाइम मैनेजमेंट बहुत सिखाया जाता है बट एक्चुअली व्हेन इट कम्स टू इंप्लीमेंटेशन हार्डली वी डू इट सो व्हेन टाइम इज नॉट मैनेज्ड व्हेन वी आर नॉट मैनेज्ड आई फील स्ट्रेस कम्स देर आर फ्यू पीपल यू माइट हैीन नियर टू यू दे आर ऑलवेज हैप्पी दे आर ऑलवेज रिलैक्सड दे आर ऑलवेज चिल्ड उनको कभी स्ट्रेस नहीं होता दे वर लाइक यार आई एम चिल्ड तो आपको देख के लगता है कि यार ये लोग कैसे इतना स्ट्रेस फ्री रह लेते हैं या ये कैसे खुश रह लेते हैं यू नो व्हाट इज द आंसर टू दिस द ओनली आंसर इज दे आर हैप्पी बिकॉज दे कैन मैनेज द टाइम दे कैन मैनेज द वर्क वेल वी कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज अ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस वी कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज अ वर्क टाइम मैनेजमेंट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ फैंसी वर्ड्स बट अगर हम घुमा फिरा के बात करें कि इट्स जस्ट इन वन सिंपल वर्ड सो इट्स जस्ट टाइम मैनेजमेंट when our time is not properly managed when our actions our words our our planning they are not properly managed then we feel stress right so this is what i feel so stress is not something which is very common but nowadays stress has become a fashion like more it has become a fashion ki yaar my life is full of stress my life is very stressful so i feel it's only stress when we make it stressful if we don't want to make it stress stressful if all our emotions our behavior are all intelligence intellect everything is under control then life is not stressful and it's very happy and overwhelming right so kisi se hum shuruaat karke aage badhte hain ki hamari life 
आज हमने ये सीखा है कि अभी तक की लाइफ स्ट्रेसफुल नहीं है सो दिस कैन बी वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ आर सेशन टुडे दैट लाइफ इज नॉट स्ट्रेसफुल राइट वी मेक इट स्ट्रेसफुल सो डिड यू गेट दिस टिल हेयर इफ इट इज येस देन राइट नॉट स्ट्रेस इन द चैट बॉक्स right not stress in the chat box i want to see how many of you guys are able to understand till here and you are there with me not stress in the chat box one only one not stress if today we'll think that nahi yaar ye possible nahi hai so you will always think your life is not easy but you will feel that yes it is not actually stress pehle to apne aap ko manana zaruri hai पहले तो अपने आप को कन्विंस करना जरूरी है सो कि हम दूसरों को कन्विंस कर सके राइट तो पहले अपने आप को ये समझाओ दैट यस लाइफ इज नॉट स्ट्रेसफुल राइट सो सो लेट्स लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गाइस आर देयर इन टुडेज रूम आउट ऑफ आउट ऑफ 42 पार्टिसिपेंट्स हु आर एंटरप्रेन्योर्स लाइक दिस इज अ मेजर क्वेश्चन बिफोर वी गो फॉरवर्ड विद दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्कशॉप हाउ मेनी आर देयर एंटरप्रेन्योर राइट मी इन द चैट बॉक्स राइट मी इन द चैट बॉक्स See, I can see there are only eight to ten people who are writing continuously, but others are not. So, my suggestion to you, who are not uh, actually very active in the chat, that you know what? At the end of the workshop, the most disappointed participants are the ones who never participated. सबसे ज़्यादा disappointed वो लोग होते हैं जिन्होंने पूरे session में participate ही नहीं किया. तो ये ज़रूर याद रखें कि participate करें, be active, write. ask if you want to ask something you can ask if you want to say something you can say but make it active hum agla 1 1/2 ghanta jo spend karne wale hain saath mein it should not be ki main koi teacher hu ya main koi baba hu jo aaya satsang suna ke chala gaya wo waisa nahi lagna chahiye yaar thoda engaging hona chahiye aap log bhi enjoy karo main bhi enjoy karu we both should enjoy this time and at the same time we should also learn like both both things are very important right so let's move forward uh, i can see there are there are and i am entrepreneur amita uh, and there are a lot more people who have written written me in the chat box so it's good to see uh, like uh, a quality entrepreneurs and young entrepreneurs in the house who are actually uh, working in the field of entrepreneurship and making changes to the society how about if i am feeling stress and acknowledging the way i feel first uh, neha we will take this question at the end of the workshop this is a very beautiful question keep this as a star in your diary and uh, please ask me even me and uh, yuvika ma'am will will surely answer it for this question so let's let's move forward let's talk about entrepreneurship and mental health so just want to show you some uh, facts or figures about industry in, uh, when it when we talk about entrepreneurship when we talk about uh, uh, the the culture the the fashion of entrepreneurship and the way the startups are coming and this entire ecosystem of startup or the way government is helping so a small uh, research uh, a small fact on the screen if you can see that almost 1400 unique startup received funding in 2022 18% higher than in 2021 Among these fourteen percent of startup raised their first round in twenty twenty two, the reported mention. Why I am showing you this? Because there are a lot of facts, there are a lot of news, uh, there are a lot of research uh, which people keep posting on social media that the way startups are spreading or the way numbers of startups are increasing. But uh, if you if you see this report by Economics Time, India now has twenty seven thousand active tech startups. and 1300 last year so i am mentioning in the numbers of uh, uh, numbers of tech startups here but next slide i'll show you the the numbers from startup india so the numbers that startup india says is 99232 startups they have actually uh, given the dpiit number dpiit number means they recognize them as as their own uh, by giving them certificate and these 99000 came out of 636728 so just imagine the competition abhi main aapko ye sare facts kyun bata raha hu sare numbers kyun bata raha hu because i want to you guys to understand how big this market is and how big this competition is aur is competition se nikalne ke liye and to make good profits and to stay connected with your vision your mission what all things we have to do हमें करना क्या है ये हम तभी कर सकते हैं जब हमें मालूम होगा कि हमारे कॉम्पिटिटर्स क्या कर रहे हैं हमारे हमें किस जगह पहुंचना है हमसे अच्छा कौन है हमसे बुरा कौन है सारी चीजों को हम देख के ही हम आगे बढ़ सकते हैं 
just focusing on one area ki i have to do this i have to do this i have to do this things will not work entrepreneurs are called as multitasking humans right aapko sales bhi aayegi aapko marketing bhi aana chahiye aapko branding bhi aana chahiye aapko money management bhi aana chahiye business sense bhi aana chahiye product ki knowledge bhi aana chahiye tech bhi aana chahiye ye sari cheez aapko aani chahiye as an entrepreneur aap ye nahi keh sakte ki ये मेरा काम नहीं है ये मैं नहीं कर सकता या ये मेरा काम है ये मैं ही करूँ ये सिर्फ मैं ही करूंगा आई होप यू गाइस एग्री विद दिस राइट एक स्टार्टअप मल्टीटास्किंग होता है राइट यस नो इन द चैट बॉक्स मल्टीटास्किंग होता है आप में से खुद भी कई सारे लोग होंगे जो मल्टीटास्किंग होंगे राइट यस नो ट्रू सुरेंद्र ट्रू सुतेश ट्रू समी ट्रू यस अमिता ट्रू यस देर आर देर आर पीपल हु अग्री विद मी दैट यस एंटरप्रीनियर हैज टू बी मल्टी अब मैं अगर आपको अपने पुराने दिन की एक छोटी सी कहानी सुनाता जो शुरुआती दिन थे व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड दिस व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड काउंसलिंग इन 2016 एज अ मेंटल हेल्थ कंपनी तो हमारे लिए तो बहुत मुश्किल था कि हम अपने आप को मार्केट में सस्टेन कर पाते 2016 में 2016 में मेंटल हेल्थ को कोई पूछता भी नहीं था ये आप भी जानते हैं कि उस टाइम पे मेंटल हेल्थ की क्या कंडीशन थी व्हेन वी यूज्ड टू पिच टू आवर दैट टाइम वी यूज्ड टू हैव अ प्रोडक्ट दैट वी यूज्ड टू सेल टू स्कूल्स एंड कॉलेजेस That is called as mind power training and personal counseling. तो जब हम schools के पास जाते थे ना कि यार हमारा ये product है security guard ही हमें अंदर जाने को enter नहीं कर सकता था आप ये सोचो security guard ही हमें भगा देता था कि भग जाए ऐसे कि mental mental कुछ नहीं होता so उस time से start करके यहाँ तक की journey जो रही वो बहुत ही hard working भी थी और बहुत ही मतलब अप्स एंड डाउन्स भी थे उसमें फेलियर्स भी थे उसमें सक्सेस भी थी उसमें प्रॉफिट्स भी थे उसमें लॉसेस भी थे सारी चीजें थी उसमें बट एक चीज कांस्टेंट थी आपको पता है क्या स्टे कनेक्टेड विद आर विजन हमने जो सपना तक देखा था कि एक दिन मेंटल हेल्थ को इस मुकाम पे लेके आना है इस इंडस्ट्री को इतना ग्रो करना है या इसमें इतने मेहनत से काम करना है कि लोगों इतने लोगों की हम मदद कर पाए वो हमारा विजन था जो हमने अचीव किया तो कहीं ना कहीं एज एन एंटरप्रेन्योर हमें आ, हर चीज करनी पड़ती है शुरुआती दिनों में आप बिलीव नहीं करेंगे कि ऑफिस बॉय नहीं होता था पैसे नहीं होते थे कि इतनी एम्प्लॉयमेंट लोगों को दे पाए या इतने लोग ऑफिस में रख पाए सो दैट टाइम खुद ही सफाई भी करना खुद ही कुछ पोस्ट करना है जाना वो भी करना पर्चे भी बांट रहे हैं ऑफिस प्रोडक्ट के बारे में रोड पे खड़े होकर पर्चे बांट रहे हैं दीवारों पे पर्चे चिपका रहे हैं तो हर छोटी छोटी चीज जो हमें लगता है कि हम नहीं कर सकते या वो काम बहुत छोटा है या वो काम बहुत बड़ा है हमने हर वो काम किया और वो छोटे छोटे काम आपके लिए एक स्टेपिंग स्टोन होते हैं टूवर्ड्स ए सक्सेस कई लोग स्टार्टिंग डेज से ही दे फील की यार आई एम दिस आई हैव टैग ऑफ फाउंडर आई हैव टैग ऑफ को फाउंडर and uh, i should uh, i should not do this i should do this uh sutesh don't worry i am using both the languages so you are not missing anything but just trying to keep a good match between english and hindi so don't worry you are not missing if you miss anything you can write in the chat box okay and so that was the time when <clears throat> i was telling you ki we used to do everything and same time Uh, just imagine that today these are the researches which which says that founders have these many mental health problems ab dekhiye meri screen pe emotional health ke liye quick look dekhte hain 30 63 million msmes 50000 startups number of msmes and startups in india ye numbers hai and founders have a landmark study of ye ek ek study hui hai jisme ye pata chala hai 2x incidences of depression 60x occurrences of adhd 3x suffering from substance addiction 2x occurrence of suicidal thoughts aap ye dekhiye ki entrepreneurs aur startup founders co-founders kis direction mein ja rahe hain mental health ki condition mein ab iske piche reason kya hai aisa hota kyun hai aapko kya lagta hai what is the reason of these mental health these many mental health problem increasing with startups what do you feel uh, what is the reason behind this any anyone please write in the chat box stress and pressure uh, no sleep okay pressure somebody is writing what is adhd see adhd is attention deficient hyperactivity disorder it's it's a kind of a mental health disorder we will we will explain you this in the later slides 
so uh, no sleep no st uh, sleep st unable to manage the situation lack of passion mismanagement pressure uh, then planning and implementation trying to started mid the might instruct your failure pressure okay perfect so a lot of reasons and after reading all these reasons i can completely understand why startups are facing these many problems but you know what see everyone knows that there are problems and everywhere you go you will find problems right but there are very less people who will give you solutions so here we should have a mindset see why did you choose to become an entrepreneur first visualize that aapne kyun socha ki aapko entrepreneur banna chahiye sabse see whenever i used to be low feel ask me ki how do i used to manage uh, my my time when i used to uh, have failures rejections and please uh, understand the journey was not at all easy i mean hum aise din bhi dekhe hain when security guards used to leave dogs on us agar hamare piche kutta chhod dete the ki bhag jaye yahan se they used to treat us like beggars so that was the time when uh, that was the time that we have seen so the journey was never that easy in the likewise i can when i am seeing your problems pressure life management this thing that thing 27 24 to 7 working supporting family work life balance i i can completely correlate myself to your problems that, that's that's very uh, like very natural because i have been through these phases but you know what what kept me motivated what kept me connected that why did i start it because when you know why did you start you know where to end and you know that what solutions i should have and all like this be a solution giver not just sir you are breaking up <clears throat> someone is writing you are breaking up is my voice not audible uh, uh, richa can you hear me am i not audible now okay okay now it's okay thank you thank you for 30 seconds or not okay i'm so sorry maybe some bandwidth issue so uh, i was telling that in that was the time when we uh, i was telling you how how difficult what uh, this this time was and how i used to manage so you have to be a solution thinker rather than a problem thinker right so write solution in the chat box write solution in the chat box write solution in the chat box because I I want you to understand. See, few terms I I will be pushing you to write, and these are the terms uh, which are highly uh, are related to or connected with the mindset. Uh, and also, one more thing I want to uh, give you as a mantra that if you are good at ignoring, right, ignoring uh, every minute thing, because a lot of people feel, yeah, why should I ignore? I cannot ignore. if i ignore if i ignore something it will become a problem so as a as a as a leader as an entrepreneur as a startup founder you should know the seriousness ki kaun si cheez pe kitna dhyan dena hai aur kaun si cheez pe kitna nahi dena hai right aapke paas agar ye sense aa gayi that this is a situation so take it as a situation not just as a problem or a solution or a, or something that you should jump upon see every time jumping will not work that micro management na that many times that micro management becomes a problem or a mindset ki uh, where you you think ki yaar ye bhi ho sakta hai wo bhi ho sakta hai ye to nahi ho sakta wo to nahi ho sakta see these kind of situations where you create some kind of illusion or the thoughts which are not uh, possible so these illusions create problems right so if if you really uh, are if you are really like connected with the thought with the vision uh, with with uh, with something that uh, you you started not just for money this is again one more factor that i want to tell you that never focus as a as an entrepreneur or as a as a as a person who is running an organization or any venture or anything don't focus just like majorly on money rather than on skill right i have seen people failing because they only and only focus 
ऑन मनी दे फील कि यार प्रॉफिट आना चाहिए प्रॉफिट आना चाहिए कैसे भी है बट दैट माइंड सेट ना समहाउ डाइल्यूट योर विजन एंड we uh, we 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 never get that numbers and we feel disappointed and feel feel disappointed life become very difficult for us. Rather the same time we should focus on two things. One thing is enjoy what we do क्योंकि जैसे अगर मैं कुछ कर रहा हूँ छोटी सी स्टोरी सुनाता हूँ क्या कॉन्सेप्ट है आपने वर्क ऑलिक सुना होगा so when i when i used to work uh, like i used to work like that time if we go one year or two year back uh, when it was a covid hit in 2019 20 wo wala jo phase tha so that time suddenly work increased uh, in our office and uh, for two two and a half years continuously i used to work for around 16 to 18 hours without any break right or suddenly team sizes increased and everything got increased so I thought, yeah, if I am working, I am enjoying what I do, and I am feeling very bored and tired when doing something that I don't like. So slowly, slowly, I started understanding that if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling tired. But if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling tired. But if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling tired. But if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling tired. But if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling tired. But if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling tired. But if I am doing something that I am enjoying, then I am not bored. I am never feeling मुझे जिंदगी जीना बहुत अच्छा लगता है एंड एट द सेम टाइम मुझे काम करना बहुत अच्छा लगता है तो आई मेड दिस वर्ड दैट अ पर्सन हु लव हिज लाइफ इज कॉल्ड लाइफ ऑफ लाइक एंड एट द सेम टाइम ही वांट ही लव वर्किंग तो मैंने इन दोनों डेफिनेशंस को मिलाया और लाइफ ऑफ लाइक एक वर्ड बना दिया सो लाइकवाइज लाइक एट द सेम टाइम दिस काइंड ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल चेंजेस With yourself, competing, making yourself understand. As an entrepreneur, हमें दूसरों को साबित करने की जरूरत नहीं है अपने आप को साबित करने की जरूरत है अपने आप को चैलेंजेस दो अपने आप को क्वेश्चन करो अपनी केपेबिलिटीज पे अपनी स्किल सेट पे स्पेशली आई हैव सीन लाइक आई टू विजिट लॉर्ड ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज एज 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 अ स्पीकर and and lot of talk shows they uh, even as a judges judges in some events panelist. so what uh, the one thing that i have noticed in uh, these startup founders and people who are into this industry that they forget upskilling they never want to focus on skills and they feel ki yaar maine jo kar liya life mein na wo bahut kar liya ab usse aage mujhe kuch karne ki zarurat nahi hai ab itne mein main kar lunga jo mujhe karna hai but that is very alarming if you think that skill skilling up is not required i think you are digging your own grave even me nowadays i i attend workshops main khud workshop attend karta hu seekhta hu koi nayi cheez aa gayi jaise nowadays i am learning artificial intelligence uh, aisi bahut sari cheeze hain jisme mujhe lagta hai main perfect nahi hu main uske bare mein seekhta hu main workshops leta hu sessions karta hu courses karta hu so hame aise apne aap ko upskill karna bahut important hai and connecting with the same thing my next slide is identifying skill gap हमारे अंदर जो स्किल गैप है ना दैट इज आल्सो अ वेरी मेजर रीजन ऑफ स्ट्रेस प्रेशर क्योंकि ऐसा काम है जिस पे मैं नहीं कर पा रहा हूं तो वो इरिटेशन फ्रस्ट्रेशन अपने आप आती है तो धीरे 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 देखो आप सब कुछ नहीं कर सकते यू कैन नॉट बी जैक ऑफ ऑल ट्रेड्स दैट्स एक्सेप्टेबल बट आपको हर चीज के बारे में थोड़ा थोड़ा आना चाहिए ताकि आप अपनी टीम को अपने वेंचर को सपोर्ट कर सको हर डेमेन पे और आपको डिपेंडेंट ना होना पड़े किसी पे स्टार्टिंग डेज में मैंने डिजाइनिंग भी करी है फॉर एग्जांपल वीडियो एडिटिंग भी करी है कंटेंट भी क्रिएट किया है पर्चे भी बांटे हैं सेल्स भी करी है मार्केटिंग भी करी है बिजनेस भी किया है तो अगर आप देखेंगे कि हमने क्या क्या किया है तो बहुत लंबी लिस्ट है आज के टाइम पे उसी काम को करने के लिए वी हैव डिपार्टमेंट्स क्योंकि स्केल अप हो गया बट स्टार्टिंग डेज में अगर आप बोलते कि हम सौ लोगों की कंपनी बना के बैठ जाते हैं और सौ लोग हो जाते हैं और हम उनको सैलरी भी देते हैं प्रॉफिट भी कर लेते तो वो पॉसिबल नहीं था तो आपको अपने अंदर ये स्किल गैप्स ढूंढने हैं कि आपके अंदर क्या स्किल गैप्स है और इन स्किल गैप्स को ढूंढ के इनको फिल करना बहुत जरूरी है इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फिल दीज स्किल गैप्स आफ्टर आइडेंटिफाइंग अब द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई SSC or startup current and future needs. अपने startup की आज की जो problem आप जो देख रहे हो और future की जो need है वो assess करो. For example, we realize that in 2016 mental health is going to be a booming industry. This we 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 got this catch that time and we entered this industry. And that time there was nobody. Now तो there are a lot of startups that have come. But we were we were the first one in India to start this venture when. Uh, 
um, with this much strength and this much uh, uh, like uh, products and number of services that we used to deliver that time so these kind of future identifications are very very important identify the skills required to fill this gap ab aapne apni problems identify kar li ab unko fill karne ke liye unke liye skills dhoondo and then determine the skills that will have most significant impact to start up growth ab fir unhi skills pe kaam karke aap unke skills ko inculcate karo learn karo implement karo and then slowly slowly you can you can grow next is strategies for upskilling sabse pehla hai self paced learning networking and mentorship and collaborative learning i'll tell you what is self paced learning self paced learning means not uh, courses like not doing courses like university courses or college courses rather than some courses which are flexible with timings right especially the recorded ones or even if they are not recorded they should not hamper your business timings right so they are called as self paced learning jisme aap apni khud ki pace se sikhe ye nahi ki kisi ka pressure ho self learning concept next is networking and mentorship business mein network hi sab kuch hota hai and even if we we'll, if we we'll talk about the quote of elon musk or i think bill gates so he says network is a net worth so if you have a strong network and even there are a lot of institutions organizations i have seen which which are running on the basis of networking so networking is the major tool which will help you to grow so hamesha is networking ke segment pe kaam kariye mentorship is again a major thing you should have a good mentor like even uh, if we, if i if i'll give you my own example still we have advisors who were with us in 2017 दे आर विद लास्ट सिक्स सेवन ईयर्स आप आप बिलीव करिए जब से कंपनी है वो हमारे साथ हैं उन एडवाइजर्स को उन मेंटोर्स को हमने वो वो रिस्पेक्ट दी उनकी बातें सुनी उनके उनके जो डिसीजन थे वो इम्प्लीमेंट किए तो फाइंड आउट सम गुड मेंटोर्स फॉर ए बिजनेस आपने देखा होगा बहुत सारे बिजनेस कोचेज भी आ गए बिजनेस मेंटोर्स भी आ गए बट हर बंदा एक अच्छा मेंटोर हो और आपकी फिलोसफी से मैच करे ये जरूरी नहीं है सो फाइंडिंग आउट अ गुड मेंटोर इज अगेन अ नेक्स्ट very important step to grow your business then is collaborative learning collaborative learning means ki aap dusre dusre ventures ke sath collaborate karke unke sath seekhe ya fir marketing ke bhi kai sare aise segments hote hain jo aap collaborate karke kaam kar sakte hain collaborate karke kuch naya innovate kar sakte hain so likewise teen areas pe aapko majorly focus karna hai upskilling mein self paced learning networking and mentorship and the collaborative learning these three areas uh, which which are most important so before i move forward i want to know are you guys understanding if you're understanding right cool in the chat box so that i can know you guys are there right cool in the chat box cool 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 
आप स्टार्टअप इंडिया की वेबसाइट पे जाइए वहां पे इतने सारे बेनिफिट्स हैं जो गवर्नमेंट देती है आप उनके लिए अप्लाई करिए बहुत सारे ऐसे बेनिफिट्स हैं जो हम उनके क्राइटेरिया में नहीं फॉल करते हैं बट स्टिल देर आर लॉट ऑफ इनिशियटिव बेनिफिट है जो उसपे हम फॉलो फ्लो करते हैं इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज टेक बेनिफिट और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट कनेक्ट विद स्टार्टअप इंडिया के जो रिसोर्स पर्सन है जो उनके मेंटोर्स हैं जो उनसे आप कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं ऐसे छोटे छोटे जगहों पे आपको पैसा भी नहीं देना दैट इज फ्री नेक्स्ट स्टार्टअप इंडिया के खुद के एक्सपो होते हैं स्टार्टअप इंडिया एक्सपो बोलते हैं उनके इंक्यूबेटर प्रोग्राम्स होते हैं उनके उनके इवेंट्स होते हैं तो ट्राई टू विजिट और ट्राई टू गो इन दर इवेंट्स वहां पे आपको अच्छे अच्छे लोग मिलेंगे नए नए लोग मिलेंगे उनसे बात करने का मौका मिलेगा उनसे कुछ सीखने का मौका मिलेगा सो ट्राई टू कनेक्ट विद मोर एंड मोर पीपल ऐसे गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव से आपको लोगों से मिलने का मौका मिलता है नेक्स्ट इज इनक्यूबेटर्स एंड एक्सेलेटर्स ऐसे कई सारे इनक्यूबेटर्स हैं ऐसे कई सारे एक्सेलेटर्स हैं जो जो इस पे जो स्टार्टअप की मदद कर रहे हैं फंड्स दे रहे हैं उनको उनको मेंटोर कर रहे हैं उनको स्किल्स प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं उनको गाइडेंस दे रहे हैं इस तरीके के इनक्यूबेटर एंड एक्सिलेटर से आप बात कर सकते हैं आप कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं एंड लिंकड इन इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक इन माई टूडे सेशन ऑल्सो दिस इज इन माई फ्यूचर स्लाइड हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर प्रोफाइलिंग आई बी कवरिंग दैट देन प्रोफेशनल एसोसिएशन प्रोफेशनल एसोसिएशन इज ऑल्सो इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड स्पेशली इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वे उद्यमिता हेल्पलाइन इज वर्किंग दे आर दिस इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ अ प्लेटफॉर्म ओनली वेयर वी ऑल आर गेटिंग कनेक्टेड सो लाइक वाइज when we are there here we are we are we are together when we, we i don't know they have events or not but if your guys are meeting in their events talk with more people collect their data stay in touch or share your problems with them understand their problem try to identify where we can help where you can help that person try to see that that person can how that person can help you so likewise uh, the, these kind of resources or these kind of outsourcing the resources your network your connections this always help you and at the same time yahan paisa bhi nahi lagta this is all free koi aapko ye nahi ki paisa dena hai kuch spend karna hai kuch invest karna hai aisa kuch bhi nahi hai next is tracking progress tracking progress ki jab hum baat karte hain to what is tracking progress set measurable goals for upskilling you can note down these points ki hum apne kaam ko track kaise kare agar hamara kaam ka track hoga to automatically hamari life ka jo stress level hai ya jo hamare kaam ka jo stress level hai wo thoda kam ho jayega फर्स्ट इज सेट मेजरेबल गोल्स फॉर अपस्किलिंग कई सारे लोग मैंने देखे गोल सेट करते हैं बट दीज गोल्स आर इनरियलिस्टिक इन गोल्स का कोई रेलिवेंस ही नहीं है तो जब आप अनरियलिस्टिक गोल सेट करते हैं और उसमें फेल हो जाते हैं तो देर इज ए हाई पॉसिबिलिटी दैट यूल बी डिसअपॉइंटेड सो जब आप गोल सेट कर रहे हैं गोल सेटिंग इज अगेन अ मेजर चैलेंज एंड अगेन अगर मेजर स्किल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो गोल सेटिंग में आप रियलिस्टिक गोल सेट करिए आप ऐसे गोल्स बनाए जो जो बहुत इजीली अचीवेबल हो इन स्टार्टिंग डेज देन स्लोली 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 यू कैन इंक्रीज द नंबर्स कई लोग फर्स्ट स्टेज में ही इतने स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर ले लेते हैं दे फेल टू अचीव दैट नंबर एंड दे फील डिसअपॉइंटेड एंड द स्टार्टअप इज गॉट राइट सो मेजरेबल गोल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रेगुलर एक्सेस प्रोग्रेस एंड एडजस्ट स्ट्रेटेजीज अकॉर्डिंगली Encourage feedback and provide opportunity for the team members to share the upskilling experience. ऐसे कुछ ये देखो अगर हम छोटे छोटे points की बात करें तो tracking progress के लिए हमें अपनी भी tracking करनी है अपनी skills की tracking भी करनी है अपने जो progress card है अपना खुद का जो report card एक तो report card होता था जो हमें schools देता था college देता था but अब we are self dependent तभी तो हमने business start किया है तो how many of you are there who actually have a self made progress card of month or of a week? और हाउ मेनी यू हैव अ वीक प्लान कितने लोगों का वीक प्लान है कितने लोग उसको एक्चुअली इंप्लीमेंट कर पाते हैं सो so, ऐसे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन हैं जो हमें अपने आप से पूछने चाहिए जिन पे हम काम कर रहे हैं और कितने लोग ऐसे हैं जो उन फीडबैक्स पे काम करते हैं जैसे अगर आपको किसी टीम मेंबर ने फीडबैक दिया किसी क्लाइंट ने फीडबैक दिया तो कितने लोग हैं जिनको हर्ट होता है वो फीडबैक्स देख के और कितने लोग हैं जो उन फीडबैक्स को अपॉर्चुनिटी क्रिएट करते हैं ऐसी बहुत सारी कंपनीज हैं जिन्होंने ऐसे फीडबैक्स को अपॉर्चुनिटी बनाया एंड एंड दे मेड अ बिजनेस आउट ऑफ दैट स्पेशली आप एप्पल की बात कर लो आप आप माइक्रोटेक की बात कर लो ऐसी बहुत सी कंपनीज हैं जिन्होंने क्लाइंट्स के फीडबैक के बेसिस पे मिलियन डॉलर का बिजनेस किया है बाइजूस की बात कर लो अपग्रेड की बात कर लो जितने भी यूनिकॉर्स है दे आर सम वेरी मच फीडबैक ड्रिविन एंड दे स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इन गेटिंग फीडबैक्स 
वो फीडबैक्स लेने के लिए पैसा खर्च करते हैं आप एमेजोन को देखो जेप्टो को देखो जोमेटो को देखो फीडबैक्स लेने के लिए कितने क्रेव करते हैं कि ये फीडबैक दे दो फीडबैक दे दो सर स्टार रेटिंग दे देना ये रेटिंग दे देना वो रेटिंग दे देना बिकॉज दे अंडरस्टैंड की विद दीज फीडबैक दे कैन इंप्रूव द प्रोडक्ट दे कैन इंप्रूव द सर्विसेस एंड दे कैन क्रिएट प्रॉफिट right then next is overcoming challenges obviously uh, in my starting slide also i i mentioned this that you have to be a solution giver rather than a problem thinker so first is overcoming challenges both of what kind of challenges are there lack of time jaisa ki aapne mention kiya budget constraint hota hai bahut logon ke paas resistance to change because you resist kai log job karte the ke job chhod ke aaye then you started business so aapko bilkul scratch se business build karna hai to aapke liye wo ek resistance aata ki main kyun change ho या चेंज होना बहुत मुश्किल होता है देन बिल्डिंग अ टीम देन मैनेज बर्न एंड अर्न बर्न एंड मतलब जितना पैसा कमा रहे हैं और जितना खर्च कर रहे हैं दैट हैज टू बी मैनेज सो दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ दीज आर द कॉमन चेंजेस दैट एवरी एंटरप्रेन्योर और एवरी फाउंडर लाइक दे ओवर गो थ्रू दिस काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस और चैलेंजेस तो एज एन एंटरप्रेन्योर व्हाट इज योर स्टैंड ऑन दिस सो डू यू हैव एन एक्शन प्लान फॉर दिस लैक ऑफ टाइम के लिए आप क्या कर सकते हैं बजट कंस्ट्रेन के लिए क्या कर सकते हैं लैक ऑफ टाइम है तो टाइम मैनेज कर सकते हैं बजट कंस्ट्रेन है तो हम अपनी बजटिंग पे काम कर सकते हैं मंथली फाइनेंस हमारे कहाँ कहाँ खर्च हो सकते हैं उन पे काम कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट मंथ का बजट इसी मंथ बना सकते हैं हाइपोथेटिकली एंड वी कैन वर्क अकॉर्डिंगली हम अपना खर्चा उसी हिसाब से करें जो हमारा बजट बनाए रजिस्टेंस टू चेंज है तो हम थोड़ा सा अपने आप को विजन से कनेक्ट करके ये समझ सकते हैं कि नहीं चेंज इज इम्पोर्टेंट वी हैव टू चेंज अदरवाइज वी कैन नेवर मेक प्रॉफिट तो अपने आप को थोड़ा सा अपस्किल कर सकते हैं चेंज के लिए बिल्ड टीम इज ऑब्वियसली अगेन अ चैलेंज टू ट्रस्ट न्यू पीपल टू ट्रस्ट पीपल हु विल सपोर्ट यू फॉर द बिजनेस एंड स्टार्टिंग डेज में तो हमें वैसे ही वैसे लोग चाहिए होते हैं जो आपसे इमोशनली कनेक्टेड हो रेदर देन जस्ट कनेक्टेड टू यू फॉर मनी सो वो कनेक्शन चाहिए तो उसके लिए आप अपनी टीम के साथ थोड़ी सिंपथी थोड़ा एम्पति शो करें उनके लिए वेलफेयर पे बात करें उनसे विजन की बात करें उनसे कनेक्ट करें उनको फ्यूचरिस्टिक गोल्स दिखाएं खुद भी उनसे ज्यादा मेहनत करें आई 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 वाज रीडिंग टू वन ऑफ द केस स्टडी फ्रॉम ट्विटर सो ट्विटर एंड द स्पेस स्पेस एक्स टीम व्हेन व्हेन दिस गाइस और द टेस्ला लाइक ऑल आर कनेक्टेड विद इलॉन मस्क सो व्हेन पीपल आस्क देम दैट द टीम मेंबर्स दैट हाउ मच मस्क works with you so you know what uh, what was the majority of the answer that he works more than us so as a founder uh, as 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 a leader you should have a mindset ki mujhe apni team se zyada kaam karna hai to meri team automatically mere piche piche kaam karegi kisi se bol ke kaam karana aur khud kaam karke use apne jaisa kaam karwana the both are very different so you has to be a person who is an action believer aap actions to believe karo aap khud kuch act karoge and then people will follow you at the same time there are leaders who just tell ki aisa kar do waisa kar do and they they want they have that bossy approach so in that particular case building a team might be very challenging next is manage burn and earn burn and earn ke liye to ek simple concept hai you should have a very simplified and strong business plan agar aapke paas ek acha business plan hai to automatically aapke sare finances aapke sare burns aapke sare earns will be in control so now uh, are you getting till here uh, so that we can move forward with a new topic that is mindfulness in the workplace so are you guys getting till here right cool in the chat box yes sir so perfect rachika ji richa ji it's all going good yes sir yes sir so very interesting or so ma it's मैं सभी पार्टिसिपेंट से रिक्वेस्ट करना चाहूंगी जिस जिस को भी सर से रिलेटेड टू वेबिनार कोई भी क्वेश्चन है प्लीज आप हैंड रेज कर लीजिए ताकि मैं कनेक्ट कर पाऊं वी विल वी विल टेक क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द विद दिस टॉपिक क्वेश्चंस एंड में कर लेते हैं नहीं 90 मिनट्स का है मैम वर्कशॉप अच्छा जी Can you hear me, ma'am?
Uh, Chaji, can you hear me? Yeah, I think uh, maybe the network issue. So before, uh, I think we should move forward with the session. So I would like to invite Yuvika Ma'am for this session now on mindfulness in workplace. And she also has certain, some activities for you, uh, right? So ma'am, please. Hi, everybody. My name is Yuvika Datta and I am a psychologist with Council India. So today we will talk about mindfulness in workplace. So uh, basically, does anybody know what mindfulness is? And yes, being at the present. So mindfulness, yes, as the person said, yes, your people are completely right. Being in the present moments. Being mindful means that you are paying attention deliberately and being aware about the present. You're not focusing on the future. You're not focusing on the past. You are just there at that present moment. You are putting all of your experiences, your emotions, your thought in that particular present situation. And now, how does mindfulness at work helps you? So mindfulness at work is when you are aware and you have an understanding about what is happening around you, how it is happening around you, and everything related to the same. It is a deliberate attention, I'd say, to everybody and everything that is happening. So what mindfulness can basically do for you is that enhances productivity. When we say it enhances productivity, it means that once you are in a zone, just can there a bilkul a current presently sari energy, thought process, sort time pay productivity both increase or jati. Kiki up kaka rayo ki apne sari environment ko ignore karte hoy, jitni bi external factors that unpo ignore karte hoy, us particular present situation pay sort of the hand so automatically your productivity will increase. Second thing uh, improved creativity. As your focus focus increases, as your productivity increases, with that, your creativity will increase. Creativity is not extra thing that will happen in some people or in some people. Maybe it will not happen. Creativity would be something which we can develop as a skill also. Everyone's uh, accordingly can be very much. Some people can be less, some people can be less. But it's all in all. But its focus basically is that you are trying to be creative as much as possible. Sometimes you have heard that many musical artists do what they do. Oh, in English. I was confused in between that some people want Hindi also. <laughs> so when it comes to uh, being creative, you will see a lot of people who practice uh, music or dance. Sometimes they go into a very personal space. Lots of uh, music artists, they just have their own space just say wo bhari nahi nikalte hai, for a very long period of time until they have particularly written their song properly. And this is because they practice mindfulness to a very high level where they are completely ignoring the world around them. But wo obviously they do it on a very high scale. But in, in the workplace setting, we cannot do it that way. And it also develops your emotional intelligence. Now, you know what emotional intelligence is? So emotional intelligence is basically when you are aware of your emotions and then you are aware of the other person's emotions as well. It is being self-aware to a point where you are so aware about yourself that it automatically makes you a person who is empathetic towards others around you as well. It also helps you in better decision making. Yes, again, if you are good with the productivity, you're good with the creativity part of it. And then again, when your focus is completely on the present situation, then your decision making power also rises. When our decision making power rises, um, it helps us to take good steps into our workplace. It helps us to decide what we can do, what's best for us. 
it's not important that every time we are making a decision it could be completely in favor of us or in favor of the people around us but when we are practicing something called mindfulness it helps us in all the domains it helps us to make decisions which are completely in favor of everybody when it comes to practicing mindfulness at work there are a lot of things that we consider it is because of the benefits that are there these are the four benefits that we have listed but other than that it does help in stress reduction to a very huge level because once you're mindful your stress automatically decreases stress will be present around you especially in a work setting i think when it comes to stress of course our perceptions are really important but stress also does affect our productivity and our decision making so in order to be more mindful i'd say uh, there are a few things that you can do especially when it comes to being mindful at the workplace the first one would be to meditate daily when i mean by meditating daily uh, daily it doesn't mean that you will sit in a state where you will not be speaking anything at all ki aap aankhein band karke bilkul you're just out of the world it's not going to be like that meditation is something which just calms our brain waves so when it comes to meditating the first thing you can do is just shut your eyes when you wake up in the morning this is going to be just a 15 minutes activity wherein you are just closing your eyes you're concentrating completely upon your breathing pattern you can also do it in a form of yoga or also you can do it in a form where you're just putting a clip on the youtube and uh, which narrates you something which makes you feel really calm then next would be working on your breathing when i say working on your breathing it doesn't mean ki you'll just breathe in and breathe out it means that you have to make sure and count your breaths you have to be aware enough to see that for example you are in a very stressful situation you need to be aware that how your breath is working right there once you start meditating you will automatically be inclined towards seeing your breathing patterns whenever you are in various situations and whenever the breathing patterns are uneven you will understand that okay this is physically not helping me so there what you do is you do the technique that that help you meditate so you automatically your body switches to a pattern where you are breathing in a very calm way even if the situation is very stressful there is a very easy technique which i'll show you later the next is control your thoughts when it comes to controlling our thoughts we always say that do not let the mind control you or your thoughts control you rather you control your thoughts and you control your mind it is a, it, I, i won't say that it develops in one day but it's a continuous habit that you have to practice wherein you are in charge you have to make yourself in charge of the situation you are in the thoughts that are happening in your head and the emotions that you are expressing out as well so it is very important to understand that being mindful helps with these three things which are really impactful in our daily lives and these thoughts and these patterns are what basically make everything around us a chaos if they are not handled properly so when in a work setting it is very important to be mindful because again all of these three things come into line wherein your experiences are going better your thoughts are going properly and your emotions are always in your control as a psychologist i tell people that it is completely okay to be as emotional as you can but we cannot do that in the workplace because it's not a personal space and not everybody is going to understand us the way we want it to be so we cannot be just emotionally breaking down so there is a point there when we need to understand and take care of ourselves in any workplace setting my first priority for all of my clients or my patients or my colleagues around is if people ask me what my advice it's always to take care of yourself first but you cannot do it without knowing the techniques so the techniques are here only there are basic lifestyle changes that you can make in your life which would really help you to build a proper routine for yourself and then take care of your mental health in a more powerful way also um you can set intentions 
to be mindful you can always uh, whenever you once you arrive at your workstation you can always write down the points that what you have to do today make a very clear cut list that okay these are the things that i want to practice today and once they're done you can always tick them off this will also give you a sense of reward and it will also help you to complete the task but again you need to be aware of the fact that am i or would i be able to complete these things today or not don't overload yourself you can always aim higher but there's no point into overloading yourself do what's best for you do what's best for your body do what is best for your mental space as well i understand if people are asking you to do a lot of work you can always take your breaks it is very important to take breaks in between because when you are at work choti choti breaks does help you to have a better uh, productivity level when you are doing your work next time you need not exhaust yourself completely and mindfulness therefore helps you doing all of that can we move to the next slide okay so uh, i know i cannot see a lot of you but there is this activity that i would like you all to do if it is possible and if you are in a setting where you can just dim or close the lights it would be really good the second thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that you are shutting your eyes and sitting in a very comfortable position a comfortable position uh, could be like you're sitting upright or you're lying down and then both of your hands are right on your lap when that happens uh, just close your eyes and when you close your eyes you have to make sure you are ignoring all the sounds that are around you it could be the sound in the kitchen or it could be the sound of uh, anything that is happening around you basically you have to focus so much on yourself that you are completely ignoring everything that is happening around so once you are done with that the second step would be to take four breaths in and count till four it's a deep breathing technique then you keep your breath inside of you for three more seconds and count till three and then you release it with five seconds of count This is called the four three five technique. It basically helps you to feel really calm. Once you start doing it daily for about ten to fifteen minutes, you can start with ten minutes, but you can keep doing it. Right now, whosoever is doing it, just try doing it for five ten minutes. Understand how you can control and how you can understand your breathing pattern, how much you are able to ignore your surroundings. and how much you are able to feel calm or on the inside you can do it four five times and then you can please ping me in the chat box and tell me how does it feel relax mode anybody else how is it making you feel Still, I could hear some noise. So that's where you have to try to focus completely on yourself. I know it's not very easy, but once you start doing it, it becomes a very good habit, wherein you are able to basically ignore everything. So there is when mindfulness comes into play. So if you're at work and you have been exhausted and you've been working for a good two three hours together, then you need breaks in between. So and your boss is not allowing you to take a break. So what you do is. you just relax and you go into this off mode where you're just trying to do something like this and 
workplaces are very noisy so it won't happen overnight that is why you need to keep practicing it every day one other thing and one other activity you can also do is like just like right now i told you to completely ignore the sound sounds and surroundings this time you have to shut your eyes and just concentrate on the sounds pick one sound out of all the noises that are coming around you and just focus on that it's called mindful hearing so you can do that as well uh, here you can see some facts where in 9 out of 10 people find practicing mindfulness helpful and it does decrease their anxiety 8 out of 10 people feel that claim practicing mindfulness contributes to their overall well-being so mindfulness uh, is very it's subjective yes but also a lot of research papers do show that mindfulness works it does help people it helps people with uh, who have anxiety disorders or heavy level of mental illnesses as well i mean i myself did a mindfulness on schizophrenia and it was the results were quite visible so and in a normal population it would be very easy for all of you to practice it once you develop a good habit for it next slide please okay uh, so i talked about mindfulness before talking about work life balance it is because uh, once you are practicing mindfulness it will be easy for you to maintain the work life balance there because you will it will be easier for you to differentiate between the two and also deal with both of them as well so what is work life balance basically so work life balance very simple terminology this can that we are trying ki jo hum jitna hum kaam kar rahe hain and our personal life do not get emerged in each other we don't want ki ghar ja rahe hain thak ke kaam se uske baad we keep working we don't want that i mean we do that i understand lekin actually me to feel good about ourselves in the longer run it is very important to maintain a work life balance in the initial years of your life you will feel that it is very easy to you know work all the time but when it comes to when you are in the age where you are 40 years old you don't want to mix your work with your life also because your body will start acting up we cannot avoid that there's no there is a differentiation between avoiding something and making a like a difference between your work and your life there's boundaries that's what the first thing says set boundaries when you say set boundaries it means that okay this is my personal space after this i am not going to attend to my work things when, when we say that it does not mean ki aap aise soch rahe ho ki theek hai maine 9 to 6 kaam kiya hai iske baad main kuch kaam nahi karunga ghar ja ke kaam aa sakta hai the reality part of it is ye ki kaam aa sakta hai us time aap kya karte ho ki aap ek particular time le lete ho apni personal life se ki ab main itna hi time dunga isse zyada nahi dunga and wo bahut subjective hota hai what if it is our own business concern see again even if it is your own business concern you need to prioritize again second point prioritize and delegate when you are prioritizing your work see work is a part of your life i understand that this generation and all of us right now we want to work we love working there is an adrenaline rush that we get but it's not going to help us in the longer run that's what the problem is you will steal yourself from the joys of life i'll be very honest prioritizing doesn't mean that you are not putting it there for me my personal life and my career may be coming in at number 1 but i will still differentiate between the two because we have to understand that work is a part of our life it is not our life there are other aspects of our life that we need to pay attention to we might like working but again we have to pay attention to the other parts for our own well being prioritize and delegate when it comes to delegating work it's again the same thing that i'm discussing uh, that delegating also suggests that you can always ask other people maybe to do something for you and then you can if you have good rapport with them when you are practicing mindfulness it helps you being emotionally intelligent wherein you understand that theek hai main dusre ko ye kaam de sakta hu 
if that person is okay with it because you understand the dynamics between you and the other person now you will not go to somebody you are not like friends with and just ask them to theek hai i'll just do this for me you won't do that ya kisi ka mood kharab hai to tum usko nahi bologe but if you are not emotionally intelligent we won't understand that we'll randomly delegate things to people and then we'll make ourselves only feel bad ki theek hai isko maine bola isne wo mera kaam bhi nahi kara can we go to the next point please time management see time management is very subjective uh, but managing time should be in one of our very important factors when it comes to work life balance we all run on a clock wherein we are waking up in the morning we are trying to manage our time and we go home and then we do the same cycle over and over again right in that whole 24 hours if you're managing everything right trust me everything gets really sorted you can always make a time table for yourself just ke andar you are putting times just ke andar for example if you're waking up at it's 7:30 in the morning till 8:30 you get freshen up from 8:30 to 9 you are doing other thing like you're eating and then also you're doing something like mindfulness and when at 9 when you leave for work you're just working for a while again you're practicing something like mindfulness fir wapas ghar aate aate aapke paas time aap exhaust nahi hoge आप जब एक टाइम टेबल बना लेते हो ना कि ठीक है मेरा ये प्रोसीजर है मुझे हर रोज ये ये करना है और वो टाइम टेबल मोनोटनस नहीं होना चाहिए उस टाइम टेबल के अंदर देर शुड भी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटीज लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल यू डूइंग फिजिकल एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली वेन यू आर वर्किंग यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड फिजिकल एक्टिविटी सेट अप इन योर टाइम टेबल इन दिस होल वर्कहोलिक लाइफ and with the time management there should be days where you're giving it to yourself also and to your family or your friends as in your personal life also so usko manage kaise karna is completely upon you practice self care i am all in for practicing self care this is the one thing i keep on the top of my list all the time mujhe pata hai ki agar maine lag ke 6 7 8 mahine kaam kar liya hai na i would make sure that i am rewarding myself with whatever i want it could be the biggest of the biggest thing and it could be the randomest of the random thing so the 6 months is a very long time i say everybody should practice self care within the 10 days of like after every 10 days in your month it could be anything it could be going to the movie it could be getting a spa day or it could be just having a good time with your friends it could be anything which is suitable for you I can give you a list of random things that you can do for yourself. And again, the last one is unplug and disconnect. Uh, when you're practicing self care, that is the point also when you're trying to unplug and disconnect. But in this case, it particularly means that you are switching off from technology and disconnecting completely. I do take a lot of proud into pride into saying that I do practice self care and I do unplug and disconnect because it helps me. It doesn't only help me. Uh, on a mental level but it helps me in all arenas of life everybody is happy with me i'm trying to do well for myself i'm trying to build a good work atmosphere as well then the seventh point that comes is reflect and reassess see a lot of things can work for you and a lot of things cannot work for you maybe gardening and baking could work for some people lekin kisi ke liye wo kaam nahi karega kisi ke liye painting kar lega to जब आप ये सेल्फ केयर एक्टिविटीज कर रहे हो जब आप माइंडफुलनेस एक्टिविटीज कर रहे हो उसमें आपको रिफ्लेक्ट और रिअसेस करना है कि इज दिस वर्किंग इज दिस हेल्पिंग मी आउट और ये दिस नॉट अ वन डे प्रोसेस इट्स नॉट अ वन मंथ प्रोसेस इट टेक्स अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यस सो इट डस टेक अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड लॉन्ग से आई मीन दैट इट कुड टेक यू अबाउट अ मंथ टू डेवेलप दीज हैबिट्स इफ यू आर actually following them and if you're doing them regularly i mean if you start doing it the earliest you start doing it the better result is going to show when you are reaching your 40s and your 50s because that is the time where you want to relax also work also and then maintain the right balance between the two lekin agar hum abhi se hi wo cheez kar rahe hain wo hame hi help karega kyunki hame practice hogi we will not be guilty about the fact ki yaar oh main ab kaam nahi kar raha you see a lot of people who are retired they come to me and they say ki ab mai life mein kuch bacha hi nahi hai mai karu kya mai bas kuch karne ko hi nahi hai 
लेकिन यही अगर हम स्टार्टिंग से ही ये सब वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस मेंटेन करें तो वील नेवर बी गिल्टी वेन वी रीच आर ओल्ड एज की जिसके अंदर आई कॉन्ट वर्क आई वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू वर्क विच इज नॉट फिजिकली पॉसिबल सो इट इज बेटर टू be really mindful of yourself start understanding how your breathing pattern works and there are various types of mindfulness activities you can try there is the one in which you are just focusing on one particular sound there is something in which you are doing mindful eating this is aapka dhyan sirf khane ke flavors uske taste uske spices par hai ye bahut hi random cheeze lagti hongi but it helps you develop a sense of awareness a sense of being present a sense of being really you know aware about things and people around you and most importantly it helps you being aware of yourself and once we do that a lot of things and a lot of things in our life fall into place Shivam sir. Yes, ma'am. Is it done? Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, ma'am, for a beautiful session covering mindfulness and workplace. And I hope everybody is still connected. You guys, guys, you guys are learning new things. If yes, write learn in chat box so that I can know you are learning new things. Yes, learn. Thanks, ma'am. Learn. Yeah. So let's uh, let's quickly come to the end part of the workshop. And uh, as the topic suggests, why profiling is important. And even in my in the chat, I was reading that some people are writing. Uh, they are doing some network marketing. They are having a business of network marketing. They want to expand. They want to expand the network. So <clears throat> the the answer to all those questions is profiling. If you have a strong profile, automatically people will come and connect with you. And how does this profile uh, is important? And how we can make a profile? So there are multiple uh, steps that need to be focused that we should keep in mind. Uh, that uh, how to make a profile and where to make a profile. Both both things are important. So three stage three people are there. Uh, three uh, stages are there where we should make profiles. First thing is LinkedIn. then uh, the other one is uh, it's social proof and the third one is we can call it as our own profile profile means in the form of a resume or video profile or a single one pager profile so likewise so three different profiles are required and as it's uh, as says uh, it's it's a very uh, interesting say that people uh, people most of the time use that is jo dikhta hai wo dikhta hai to yahan par people take what they see right and uh, this is how this profiling concept is very important people who have a low profile automatically people will not have a very good idea about you ki ye insaan kaisa dikhta hoga aap khud bhi apne bare mein soch rahe ho if you go to a market you might have seen the 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 symmetry that malls are follow jis tarike se product rakha hai kitne acche se usme lighting ki gayi hai uski usko jis kitne acche se kitne comfortably tarike se usko place karte hain तो वो क्या है वो सारी चीजें आपको एक्साइट करती हैं और आपको अट्रैक्ट करती हैं इन द सेम वे वी एज एन इंडिविजुअल हमारी भी एक प्रोफाइल होती है जो लोगों को आपकी तरफ अट्रैक्ट करती है रेदर देन यू फाइंडिंग फॉर अ नेटवर्क पीपल शुड कम एंड फाइंड यू एज द नेटवर्क एज पार्ट ऑफ द नेटवर्क अब होता कैसे अब जैसे हम लिंकड की बात करते हैं आप में से कितने लोगों को लिंकड प्रोफाइल बहुत अच्छे से बनानी आती है एज पर लिंकड इन एलगोरिज्म राइट ये नो इन दर्ट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो दैट how to make proper linkedin profile even in our courses like uh, we teach people how to make linkedin profile hamare even hamare psychology ke courses hain mental health courses hain but still hum hamare participants ko profiles banana sikhate hain you know why because everybody will it be psychologist professional entrepreneur anything everybody needs to understand this concept of profiling how to make a profile so it it's it's important for everybody like i have seen only one person writing no how about others you guys know how to make a profile yes or no just just write yes or no in the chat box so that i can have a clarity how many no 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 and especially for the people who are into network marketing network marketing is a game of trust and that trust comes only if you have a strong profile social proof means uh, 
LinkedIn profile is clear. One page profile is clear. I have some resource material also like uh, to share with you where you can see how to make this profile and implement it. I don't know how to share it with you. Richa, uh, Richa, Richa Ji, is there any uh, platform or any process by which I can share some resource material for participants to read or they can just have a look at it? Yes, sir. Just or maybe after the end of the session, it's not important. I can give it to the end of the session. Either than emails or some group or something like uh, if I want to share something. Yes, sir. Ho jayega possible, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So by the end of the session, link yes. file kaise banani hai? I have, um, I have a proper documentary for that. You can okay. simply follow one by one steps like the participants because I can see there are a lot who have written no, no, no. So obviously, See, if you want to grow, you must have a LinkedIn profile. After time, I will tell you a concept. Batata. Even the people who are entrepreneurs, they can implement this in their hiring structure. After time, there are video profiling hiring. What did we do before? We used to use CV, resume. Then we used to do hiring. It is a better form that we want to employ those who you want to employ, videos. We will use the basis of hiring. So, what does it mean for the people who are in the room today, uh, who are attending this workshop, you must have the concept that how to make your profile better. For social proofs, you can take social proofs for Google reviews. You can take the service and take Google reviews. Le so, step by step, you can work slowly on your profile. If you think that you will become a rock star in one day, or you will become a rock star in one next level, where you will be able to know the world from one day, it is not possible. Slowly, slowly, you have to grow. And in the profiling, there are three things I always remember. One is LinkedIn profile as per LinkedIn algorithm. I will show you a slide at the end. I will show you a slide at the end. See, this is my LinkedIn profile. If you just have a look at it, at the end, I will share it with you. So you will know the symmetry. What symmetry we have to add to the content. When we have to add the content. So, that following that algorithm that whenever people search anything related to your name, for example, Richa is here. So, if I have searched Richa in search, then Richa Bharadwaj should come at the top. So, that is the game of algorithm on LinkedIn. Now, when you automatically go up, then there is a chance of connection is more, right? People will go down and look at you. There is no time for anyone. The most important thing is that people will connect. राइट सो ऐसी छोटे छोटे टेक्निक्स हैं लिंक्डइन पे जिससे आप कनेक्ट हो सकते हो और अपनी अपनी लिंक्डइन प्रोफाइल को अच्छा बना सकते हो एंड यू कैन हैव अ बिगर नेटवर्क लिंक्डइन पे बहुत सारी छोटी छोटी चीजें जिनका हमें ध्यान रखना चाहिए नेक्स्ट इज सिंगल पेज प्रोफाइल आई हैव सर्टेन सम लिंक्स ऑफ सिंगल पेज प्रोफाइल जहां से आप बना सकते हो आई विल बी शेयरिंग इट विद यू गाइस एट द एंड नेक्स्ट इज सोशल प्रूफ मैंने आपको बता ही दिया गूगल गूगल पे आप फीडबैक्स लेना स्टार्ट करें लोगों से गूगल फॉर्म भरवाएं ऐसे छोटे छोटे कलेक्शंस करके आप अपने सोशल प्रूफ को ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग बना सकते हो और लोगों को आप पे ट्रस्ट होगा उससे दैट इज फॉर ट्रस्ट बिल्डिंग जितना ज्यादा लोगों को आप पे ट्रस्ट होगा उतना ज्यादा आपसे लोग कनेक्ट करेंगे आप खुद भी अपने बारे में सोचो इफ यू डोंट ट्रस्ट समबडी यू विल नेवर कनेक्ट राइट यू विल कनेक्ट विद ओनली दोज हुम यू ट्रस्ट सो दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रोफाइल फैक्टर्स व्हेन यू हैव अ गुड प्रोफाइल ऑटोमेटिकली द ट्रस्ट फैक्टर बिकम्स मोर एंड पीपल विल कनेक्ट विद यू द लास्टली The topic that I want to cover today is layoff. You know, uh, in this today's world of entrepreneurship and this business, uh, especially investment, layoff has become a major challenge of, of big unicorns and, uh, and especially uh, billion dollar companies and they're laying off their employees like anything. So we as a young entrepreneur or as a startup entrepreneur as having our own MSME firm, we should uh, think in this direction as well that hiring should be a major uh, challenge, for, should be a major challenge for us because if you're hiring just uh, to, like um, having a non-serious mindset ki kisi ko bhi hire kar liya, kisi ko bhi fire kar liya, don't, don't try to go into these kind of practices. practices. Aaj ke time pe, <clears throat> hiring a good team is a challenge and firing a good team is again a challenge. So why I kept this slide intentionally here is because I want you guys to understand this. You either as an entrepreneur or a startup founder or as an employee, both ways, two things you have to keep in mind if you want to have a good success 
or if you want to hire a good team both ways skills and technology both are very important agar aapke paas skills nahi hai aur technology nahi hai aap aap life mein automatically bahut se logon se piche reh jate ho you will always feel something is left in life so skills and technology both have a very important role in life especially in context to growth uh, success that learning multiple skills in my previous slides also i told you learning skills is very important will it be managing time management even yuvika ma'am was telling you about the time management so these small small soft skills are very important to grow in life and 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 to to have your venture successful right next is tech see this is the time after covid when technology is booming like anything it sector is is, is on a very fast pace right and especially the world of artificial intelligence the data sciences even marketing branding everything has reached next level so you have to follow this pace uh, of technology and have to learn new new things where you can develop your skill set and uh, grow with this good pace so uh, here like uh, these are the points which we have already covered stay informed growth mindset so here we uh, come to an end of the session uh, for last 10 minutes we'll keep it for question and answer and uh, th this is my linkedin profile so you can uh, please uh keep calm and please feel free to contact me if you want uh on this linkedin handle you can contact me you can drop a message for any kind of help support mentorship guidance right and uh, uh, any questions if you want to ask you can ask me or in between somebody was uh, asking me how to upskill in the chat box uh, somebody was telling me how to grow or uh, i i read something that they want to upskill so what they can do so to answer to these questions do you guys want me to uh, tell you about one course that we do for this that is uh, psychology for working professional so do you guys want me to share some details about the uh, about this so that you can have a rough idea about upskilling yes or no in the chat box guys so that i can i can know main sabhi participants se request karna chahungi agar kisi ke bhi question hai related to webinar सब अपने हैंड रेज कर लीजिए ताकि मैं कनेक्ट कर सकूं कि कि सर जी आप अपना क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं सर से गाइस प्लीज आस्क प्लीज आज क्वेश्चन जितना आप ज्यादा पूछेंगे उतना ज्यादा आपको सोल्यूशन मिलेंगे यू कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन इवन युविका मैम इज देयर इफ यू वांट टू आस्क समथिंग रिलेटेड टू साइकोलॉजी जी आप अपना क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं सर से प्लीज आई म्यूट योर माइक आई डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम माय साइड आई थिंक योर हैंड इज रेस्ट Surender is writing. You are mentioning about a course. Please give a brief. Okay. Uh, let me just. Uh, Ma'am, do I have a permission, Richa ji? Can I share something with them? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me just a very quick look on this particular thing in one minute. so this is a course is certification in psychology for professional success so this is made only in such a way that people who are professionals i'll just show you the curriculum who are already working in this industry of entrepreneurship uh, they are professionals they are working in companies how to upskill if you'll see the content orientation to work psychology conflicts and individual difference management personal selection assigning performance at work attitude at work growth strategies importance of building relationship leadership likewise we have covered multiple topics here jo aapko day to day life mein important important hote hain aapke liye aapko grow karne ke liye life mein and who all can join if you can see that and there are a lot of field psychologist jo acche acche level pe mentors hain jo acche acche level pe guides hain Uh, जो एक्चुअली uh, मैं अपनी लाइफ में कुछ कर चुके हैं जिन्होंने फेलियर्स देखे हैं जिन्होंने सक्सेस देखा है इवन आई एम वन ऑफ दी मेंटोर वन ऑफ देम देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर्स हु इज आई यूज टू टेक सेशन ऑन प्रोफाइलिंग अपस्किलिंग हाउ टू मेक अ प्रोफाइल हाउ टू मेक अ नेटवर्क बिगर सो लाइक वाइज आई वॉज टेलिंग अबाउट लिंगडिन 
<clears throat> so like me there are a lot of trainers in this who will talk about psychology and mental health also so is course ko humne aise banaya hai ki aap log ye choti choti problems alag alag jagah ja ke unke solutions lete hain so we will be the one who will give you all the solutions at at one place so this is how uh, this course is made uh, like in a nutshell ki aapko yahan wahan ja ke pareshan na hona pade aur ek hi jagah pe aapko sare solutions mil jaye and this is a only, like in one word i can say this is a one stop solution for professional success i have also shared the the page link with you guys and if anybody is interested they can let us know especially for this community of udyamati we have special discounts uh, and offers if you if you guys want it i i can share it with you the course is of 3 month not very expensive uh, 3 month every sunday classes so most of you are free on sundays you can invest this time uh, uh, on sundays about learning something new so likewise uh, richa you can connect with richa ji she she can let us know the names and especially for this though the course rates are different for the participants visiting our website and all but yes for this particular network we have given special discounts and special batches also will be making so if anybody is interested can uh, let richa ma'am know she she can help you with this yes sir guys any questions please ask here founders startup entrepreneurs cannot be so much silent so there are no question uh yaar pata ek cheez yaad rakho simple one line if you have nothing to ask now you cannot do anything bahut bahut kadwa sach hai but sach hai agar aap kuch pooch nahi sakte na aap kabhi life mein kuch nahi kar sakte aage kyunki poochna hi sabse bada hai sabse bada ek challenge hota hai ki main kya poochu pata nahi wo sahi hoga wo galat hoga मेरे को लोग जज करेंगे लोग पीपल फील नर्वस पीपल फील शाए बट इन सब चीजों से निकल के जो भारा जाता है ना वो ऑलरेडी एक सक्सेस का एक स्टेप चढ़ गया यू शुड फील इन दैट वे सो आस्किंग समथिंग इज आल्सो अ चैलेंज सो यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट यू शुड आस्क क्वेश्चन आस्किंग प्लीज शेयर द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन अबाउट लिंकड इन यस एस सुकुमार Yes, Sukumaran ji, we'll share. That's that's not an issue. Somebody is asking, idea is an important thing. How to draw an idea from ourselves? Keep the kain, keep the kain. Idea is an important thing. How to draw an idea from ourselves? Uh, I, I I didn't get this question properly. Can anyone help me to understand? Richa ji, did you get this question? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to answer. Shamini was also having a question. Okay, is an important thing. How to draw an idea from ourselves? So, I am going to connect it with you. Connect it with you. Kartik Ayan Ji, you can ask your question to us, sir. Kartik Ayan Ji, you can ask your question to us. Yes. Uh, so, how to get an idea from our um, ourselves? Like it means generating an idea is an important. So, how to get that idea? How to get? Not you can be a little louder. There is a lot of background voice. That's why I'm in workplace. I could not uh, spend much of this. Yeah, yeah, you can please repeat the question once again. getting an idea is a very important right yes. so how to get a pro- right idea uh, for uh, growing or whatever it may be how to get an a proper idea see though this question is very subjective and uh, how to get a proper idea it completely depends on our vision what is your vision see idea will come only if you have a vision and vision will come if you are only able to identify problem in society अगर आप सोचो दैट हाउ मेनी पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड द वेंचर्स ऑल ऑल दी स्टार्टर्स व्हिच आर कमिंग व्हाई दे आर कमिंग दे आर ओनली कमिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग द प्रॉब्लम इफ यू विल सी एनी एनी यूनिकॉर्न इट विल विल टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ बाइजूस यू टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ जोमैटो जेप्टो स्विगी दे आर यूनिकॉर्न्स एंड दे हैव बिकम यूनिकॉर्न्स इन जस्ट सम मंथ्स सो हाउ दे गॉट एन आईडिया दे गॉट एन आईडिया अबाउट आइडेंटिफाइंग द प्रॉब्लम पहले जेप्टो जेप्टो जैसा कोई जो जो कंपनी थी दे यूज टू डिलीवर प्रोडक्ट इन थर्टी मिनट्स दे केम अप विद एन आइडिया दैट देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम दैट वी शुड डिलीवर समथिंग इन लेस देन थर्टी मिनट्स एंड दे केम अप विद अ विजन दैट वील डिलीवर इन टेन मिनट्स एंड देन दैट इज वाई जेप्टो केम इन टू एक्शन सो आइडिया कम्स बाई आइडेंटिफाइंग द प्रॉब्लम इन सोसाइटी 
So if you are good at identifying the problem, you will be able to good at giving or getting the good ideas. So problem identification is something majorly important and then comes the idea. Shamini ji, you have a question for Sir Sir. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. It was a wonderful section. Uh, I'm a I'm a motivational speaker. As of now, I'm doing an advanced course in uh, uh, CI Council India. Um, my question to you is like um, I'm planning to start a, a you know center for counseling. So it may be in a years of time, you know, like within a two years of time. Now I'm not in a plan to start very quickly now. Mm -hmm. And for for me, what would you suggest? You said like we should have this consistency or, you know, like uh, do a profiling in LinkedIn. So how do you say, what advice would you give to me that I have to start working right now, uh, create a social profile or, you know, put some videos uh, so that I, when I start a center, a counseling center, then I'll be able to bring in clients to my center. So okay. I just want to get your uh, perspective, sir. Shamini, a beautiful question. And uh, thank you so much that you are part of our course, one of our course. And uh, I'm, my advice or my suggestion to you for this particular question is, is that you should not wait for one, one year. I think you should start from today only. Why I'm telling this? Because I am not telling you to start counseling today, but I am start telling you to start preparing today. Because the way this, the competition is going on, the, it's the way where people are entering in this particular industry is very fast. Bhoat speed se logos industry mein aare. So if you think that you'll start after one year, it'll be too late and it'll be very competitive for you to compete that time. Mm -hmm. So if you can start working on from scratch now, like building website, start working on a project profile, okay. make it go, start it working on a theme. Uh, start working on the uh, on the services that you'll be offering, the product line, the costing, doing some marketing research, that which services you can offer where, where to start, which service to give first. So it is not about starting or from the first day when you will start giving services. It's more about the preparation, how you prepare. So I think from today only, you should start working on SWOT analysis of the services that you can give and mm -hmm. even the SWOT analysis of of your personal skill set. So these small, small steps to complete these small, small steps, it will take one year. So if you think after one year you'll start, it will be too late because then one more year it will take to prepare. So I think preparation should start today and one year you can take to complete that preparation and then enter the market with a good hit. Right. Okay. So this is my suggestion for this. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And I hope you are a motivation speaker. I don't know you got motivated from today's session or not. Sir, I did my a diploma in psychology in London, sir, where I work with students, college students. But after coming to India, I was I was not interested to enter into psychology field. So I started to take business communication uh, skills, soft skills, and then gradually entered into keynote speaking and motivational speaker. I have given counseling for students, but I really wanted to do it in a, a, a proper structure. So I'm doing a course so, so that I can upgrade myself and then to start a clinic. So that is the reason I joined. And uh, now that you gave me an idea that pr preparation works, I'll start working on it, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Any more questions? Sir, uh, any questions? I think we have covered all the we have webinar last timing. Hai. So thank you so much sir, for joining us today. You have our webinar. Ke liya. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. And... Uh... Even this time is very valuable for the participants who have joined. And thank you so much for all the participants for devoting your time. And there was somebody who was attending this session from office. That's yes. a motivation for me. That, yes. that person is devoting time to attend my session, even while staying in the office. And I yes. must uh, say that I'm sure he is on a row of success. One day he'll be successful. Because thinking out of the box, working hard out of the box, 
that is that seed of success in everybody's life so hats off to him brother and you're on the right track thank you so much sir thank, thank you so much bye bye good day